I've been having some printing problems lately. I'm not sure they're all related to the nozzle, but I figured it would be instructive to take the nozzle apart again. We replaced it about a month ago and see what's going on inside. See if that's any has anything to do with our issues. I've also got some uh, cleaning filament, which I just learned about recently, where when you change materials, I've been switching back between PLA and PETG, and I'm wondering what that's causing the problem. Because the PETG actually has been printing pretty well. I haven't had that many problems except with this new PETG that I'm trying out, but the, the ones I have been using from Yoyi have been printing, printing pretty solidly. But when I switch back to PLA, I'm having a lot of problems. So I'm wondering if that's the issue. Uh, but in any case, we're going to take, we're going to take this apart, take the nozzle off and see what's going on inside. I already went over how to take it apart before, so I'm not going to do that again. On this video. So here's the new nozzle we installed. Looks fine. I don't see any problems with it. It looks really clean compared to the old nozzle. A little hard to see, but maybe there's, a, there's quite a bit of wear around this nozzle. This is just a brass nozzle. This is nickel plated brass. And of course, here's our old tube. I saved that just for fun. So I'll take this nozzle off and see what the, the new tube we put in there looks like. Okay, so we've heated up our heater block to 248 so we can remove the nozzle. We're using our adjustable wrench so the heater block doesn't move. And then we use a 9mm socket, which interestingly enough would not go over this until it was heated up. To remove our nozzles. tweezers to take it out. There's that. Here's our tube. You do it this cools down to get that out. Let's see. Let me turn the little pliers there. Okay, so there is some discoloration of this tube, but it looks pretty good. As long as you got it apart, you may as well replace it, but tube looks okay. There's some discoloration. I don't know if that affected its operation at all. I'm gonna get rid of some of this junk off of here. Okay, so we'll turn off the uh, preheating, let it cool down. And yeah, this tubing is supposed to be able to work up to 260. Here's a pristine piece of tubing. And of course, here's the tubing. See, the, definitely the old tubing, the cross section got got uh, decreased quite a bit. Here's the open end. Whereas on this one, there's the open end, and there's the kind of the discolored end. They, doesn't look too bad to me. I guess we can try running some filament through it. Let me try that. Here's our used tube that's been in there. We'll take some filament and run it through the clean end here. See how it goes. There's a little thing happening here right at this, uh, where it goes into the nozzle, it looks like. A little bit of resistance. Which, of course, with a pristine too, we don't see that at all. It just fits right through. This uh, Capricorn tubing is supposed to be super accurate as far as diameter. So right where it enters the uh, tube, there's this little crease here. And uh, you can see a little hole back here. I don't know if that affected it at all. Just from flexing, I guess. Seems to go through through pretty well. Now the nozzle should be cooled off by now. Now the nozzle should be cooled off by now. 
looks fine. Just got some of this black junk on it. I don't see any bit real buildup of. Uh, it's hard for you to see, probably. I don't see any real buildup of uh, material at the bottom of this, but maybe there is. Uh, you probably can't see this, but down on the bottom of the t of the nozzle looks pretty clean to me, at least the nozzle part. So let's try this. We're going to uh, cut a new piece of tubing, put it in there. Could have just reverse it theoretically, but we'll so cut a new piece of tubing, put it in there, and see how it does. So try that, and I'll show you the results. Meanwhile, the um, nozzle cleaning uh, filament should be coming today, and I'll try that and see if uh, that keeps things going more consistently. Well, with the new tube, the man, my Mandalorian coin printed perfectly. So, <laughs> I guess you got to keep an eye on that. And I think what we're also going to do is we're going to not go above 240 on preheating or printing. PTG printing, so far, I've been able to print at 238, 240, and I was printing it higher for this uh, Mandalorian coins like this, but I don't think it's really necessary. I printed this at 240 and it came out fine, so I was printing at 243. All right, so that's our new strategy. Don't go above 240, which is the nominal temperature of the printer. So that sort of makes sense, doesn't it? You can find these coins on my Etsy store. Check it out in the, there's a link in the description. Okay, I just finished printing these Republic credits that I saw on my Etsy store. You can find that in a link in the description using my uh, Mika 3D POA. And it's time to print a new one of these. As you saw earlier, I reprinted the arms for the side loader. And this actually broke too. I was able to glue the super glue. It seems to be holding, but I'm worried this might break then I wouldn't be able to use a big reel to print a new one. So it's kind of like a chicken and egg thing. So I'm going to go ahead and print one of these uh, using this HQAP uh, PTG, which since HQA doesn't sell filament anymore, this is kind of my scratch filament there. And before I switch to PLA, though, I did have some nozzle issues uh, that I'm going to cover in a different video. But in any case, when I switch filaments now, I'm going to use some of this cleaning filament I just got. This is from Nova Maker. There's some different manufacturers. This is the one I get in the, my time frame. So we're going to run some of this through the machine uh, before we switch to the new filament. So you get 0.1 kilograms, and it's got a desiccant pack in it. That seems to have a good vacuum on it. So we'll just keep this with the other filament. So it's in the dry box. It just comes in a hank of, they call it a hank, and what they said was you just need to load and unload the filament just like you do uh, with regular filament. You don't need to cut a length off or anything. Just run it in for a while, maybe four or five inches, and then um, at the temperature you were printing at. So we're printing this at, I forget exactly, at a, it, I think it's at 2, 225. We're going to print this at 240. So. Run the first five minutes at uh, 225, and the uh, first five inches, and then the next five inches at 240. And then we can um, clean it out. This has some very mild abrasives, apparently, that clean everything out. So Let's go ahead and weigh this and see if we got our tenth of a kilogram. All right, got a little extra. 114 grams. So we got an extra 14 grams, not bad. All right, it's just about heated up, so we're gonna feed it through the top like we normally do. I always run my filament through this little short section of uh, Teflon tubing to keep it more going, more going in more straight and prevent erosion around the this little hole. So we'll get it set up. I'll press the load button and we'll watch it go through. It should be silver coming out to start with and clear. Then we'll set it to 240. It's a 225 now. And we'll run it some more, and then we'll be done. All right, here we go. Oh, 
Alright, here's some silver and some black stuff coming out. That looks good. It's getting black stuff out. That's helpful. It's been around maybe another inch or so. Coming out in a spiral pattern. That's interesting. Okay, we'll stop there. Now, I'll heat it up to uh, 240 and we'll run a little bit more. Okay, here's that. Oops. <laughs> I just broke off. Uh, here's that black goo that it took out of there. That's interesting. All right, we're ready to load the uh, 240. Should come out. I don't see more black goo, so that's good. It's coming out more as a regular filament now. It's not spiraling. No, no that's not starting to spiral yet. All right, looks like super clear, so we're ready to go and printing our uh, new rod for our side loader. Actually, the last thing we need to do is uh, unload the filament, so we'll press unload. And then press this button and pull it, pull it out. So I came out nice and clean. And uh, I think we won't bother to... We'll try not... Show you what happens if we don't try to purge the uh, printhead now. It's got, the, got this filament cleaning stuff in it. Now we'll just run the uh, HQA PTG through and let, let it run a little extra get rid of this and then we'll start printing if you like this video please give it a thumbs up post a comment if you have any questions or ideas and I'll try to respond that's all for now but more videos are coming and if you want to see them please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one this is Beta Signy signing out and keep looking up